Hey! <laughs> hey everyone, it is your girl, the one, the only, Spicy. <laughs> hey everyone, I'm here today with a general love reading. Your girl can see clearly my contacts have finally came in. <laughs> your girl can see clearly. Um, I hope everyone is well. I hope everyone is having a blessed and peaceful week. I know that I've definitely had, um, you know, some ups and downs, <laughs> some ups and downs, but generally, um, you know, in general, I feel very good. I feel like I am creating my own peaceful existence and happiness and contentment. Um, those are things that I pray for, but my higher self definitely told me, like, you have to make sure that you're creating um, this for yourself as well. So, yeah, I'm just trying to do my part, and I hope everyone else is doing their part in being peaceful, content, blessed, being grateful, being appreciative, and definitely being thankful. I have so many things to be thankful for. Um... <laughs> so many things and also so many people to be thankful for as well i'm thankful for you all that view and that actually care i get i'm definitely thankful about you all and i'm so thankful about my friends like specifically il chacha i'm so thankful like she really be looking out for the kid and go ahead girl i'm so thankful for you i'm so thankful so <laughs> All right, so let's go ahead and get started. I hope everyone is well. I have my water over here. Because your girl, when I be channeling, it's like cotton mouth. I ain't even smoke nothing. Like, I already got cotton mouth, like, just from all the talking. <laughs> so, yeah, let's go ahead and get into it. I hope everyone is well. Um, check me out on YouTube. I have some videos on there. I will be dropping some new videos um, as well, um, definitely trying to be more consistent with my YouTube. Um, like you all didn't know, but <laughs> I am a single mom. I am homeschooling. I've been homeschooling for almost a year, um, on top of working full time. And then on top of doing these bomb ass nails, like, <laughs> on top of literally being an entrepreneur like literally getting this shit together because 2021 is the time like 2021 is my time and i definitely want y'all to claim 2021 as well but personally for me what's going on with me i'm claiming it <laughs> i'm claiming it i'm claiming it i'm claiming it i'm claiming it over my life um so yeah get into that start claiming stuff when you start hearing things hearing great things prophetic words claim those things you know what i'm trying to say claim those things you feel me where two or two or more agree it goes it goes down so start claiming these things you know what i'm trying to say if friends are speaking good things into your life start claiming those things you feel me but yeah yeah y'all i be having a lot of stuff going on i have a lot of stuff going on and your girl literally will still snap will still bounce back and look good 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 <laughs> doing these things so i'm definitely i'm definitely happy like all all of the praise really it goes to god it goes to my high power it goes to the universe it goes to my um spiritual team can you close the door please Sorry, that door some it's okay just close that door yeah like it all goes to my spiritual team like my support staff like because they really be working you know, and your support staff is working for you too, so lean on them. So yeah, let's go ahead and get into it. Um, I'm good on time. Let's go ahead and get into it. I'm good on time. I literally just started. <laughs> literally. Literally, literally, literally. So let's go ahead, you know, as I typically do, um, I will do like a brief, you know, general reading for the week and whatnot. That's what I do. I really like these readings with the goddess deck. They're just they're just great readings. Like I just I love this deck. I I connect with this deck heavy. I connect with it heavy. And so let's see what's going on for this week. 
Um, it seems like a lot of you all, I'm going to definitely be using, I'm going to be using some tarot cards with this too. I think I'm using Miss Cleo deck. Um, if any of y'all want to get into reading tarot and you are just like intimidated by however many decks are out there, this is a good deck to get, the Miss Cleo deck that's on Amazon. It literally costs like $5. I'm not sure how much it costs now, but when I bought a deck for myself and for my friend, it was $5. So I literally paid $10 for two decks. So yeah, get into this. This is a very inexpensive deck and then it's also a novelty item to have because who doesn't know about Miss Cleo? You know, who doesn't know? So um, let's go ahead and get into it. For this upcoming week, I definitely see that a lot of you all are, a lot of you all are not even like, I don't know if it's contemplation mode. Yeah, I feel like a lot of you all are outside of contemplation mode. I feel like you're putting more energy into acting. Um, act, not acting, like pretending, but as far as taking action, I feel like a lot of you all are very much focused on like the future and the potential of what could be. Um, and a lot of you are, are stepping into, um, here we have the spider woman energy. And I mentioned that in one of my previous readings, you know how spiders are, they work. Um, the work that they do is very intricate. Um, it takes time um, and whatnot. It takes time, it really does, but just like a spider web, it could literally be destroyed in an instant, right? <laughs> By somebody walking into the web, right? But the spider done put a lot of work into what they're doing and they're being very calculated and whatnot. So I feel like a lot of you all are um, being just, you're just making more calculated actions. So you are in contemplation mode. You're thinking about the future. You're thinking about, um, you know, just making sure that you're putting in the right type of energy into the future. And um, also, um, basically it seems as though you're being more inclusive with spirit or with the universe so you're more willing to work with um, a higher power to help you um, as you move forward towards the future and reach your potential yeah a lot of you all are definitely um you're 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 putting a lot of it's like you're falling in love with your goals or with your vision it's like you're putting that first you're really um, kind of, uh, it's like you're watering. It's like you're watering a seed. You know what I'm trying to say? A seed that you may have planted. It's like you're putting a lot much more energy and you're putting more admiration and more like into what it is that you actually want to do, if that makes sense. It seems like it's more so of a new energy. Um, so I don't really see this as, I mean, this could be something. Yeah, it, this could be something um, that, yeah. I feel like you might have had a lot of false starts in your past um, because I feel as though um, you may have had, uh, I don't know if it's like, you may have like, there's just like an energy that you might have been, you know, negative um, or been putting a lot of negative energy towards your goals in the past or maybe feeling as though you wasn't um, receiving any uh, you wasn't like progressing, you wasn't receive. you wasn't advancing. It's like, you feel as though, um, like you might've been stagnated. That's why I feel like a false start because you really, you probably had, probably had a lot of um, energy going into whatever it was that you was doing. And at some point, I feel as though you thought, what was the point of this? Or you wasn't really seeing too much of a, of a harvest. And I feel as though a lot of you all are, um, feeling like more so renewed as far as it comes to reaching your goals. That's what I'm trying to say. It's like you had a false start. Something didn't really get off the ground. You felt discouraged. There it is. You felt discouraged. You might have felt as though your dreams were overtaking you or maybe you've been dealing with real life and it was just like you had to put your dreams and stuff on pause so that you could actually deal with real life. And what I'm kind of getting right now is that a lot of you all are trying to put some new energy. Like you're just trying to... You're trying to fall in love again with what it is that you want to do or the potential of who you could be. It's like you're so much more focused, but it's like a beginner energy. So it seems as though it's something that, you know, recently just kind of uh, happened. Like you're kind of seeing things differently. You feel differently about the potential potentiality of who you could be is kind of what I'm trying to say. Um, yeah. Yeah. So yeah, that's what I'm getting is like, I'm getting is that like a lot of you all, um, 
in the past probably didn't work as much with spirit as you thought you were you weren't really co-creating as much um so i feel like that is why maybe um things didn't take off and you didn't receive the success the admiration or the validation that you wanted um in the past yeah yeah i'm getting that i'm getting that a lot of you all are pushing through that energy so you might have um failed like i said you might have failed um and that might have set you back because you failed maybe you didn't know how to really handle failure um but that's typically what happens with any like successful person is what i what i'm seeing is that you will take plenty of l's and then something gonna finally hit and then once it hits it's like okay this is this and things just pick up but it seems as though um yeah a lot of you all are just trying to push through you're trying to exhibit um more so of like this <laughs> this strength but it's like the strength of the underdog you know what i'm trying to say a lot of you all are exhibiting like the strength of the underdog that's why i feel like you might have failed um you might have seen your peers rising moving forward doing things that you wanted to do um but now it seems as though um just like it's like a complete 180 change so now it just seems like you're trying to empower yourself even through your failures, even through your shortcomings, even through, um, you know, yeah, your failures, your shortcomings and those false starts that might have discouraged you in the past. Um, so, yeah, that's what I see that's going on. I also feel like you all are, um, even though there could definitely be a lot going on, you're trying to work through um failures um you know things that um didn't really pan out like you thought they were it seems like a lot of you all are, are just being well this week you'll definitely be more lighthearted. um 9 10 11 12 13 yeah you're definitely gonna be more lighthearted, and it's gonna help you to um attract more opportunities just be be a, not even just be yourself but just be happy be content be at peace that's gonna help you to attract more opportunities um and don't be afraid to laugh at like life's misfortunes because you can always find a silver lining in something you know what i'm trying to say you can always find a silver lining i know when i'm dealing with uh, issues when i'm dealing with issues with you know specific people sometimes even when i'm just thinking about it i'll sit back and just laugh like i'll sit back and laugh because this shit it's just it it, <laughs> it just makes no sense <laughs> sometimes it makes no absolute sense so i'll just sit back and i'll laugh like what else can you do like i definitely do cry but you like, gotta bounce back sometimes and just really laugh because it's really it's just i don't know life be like that you know life be like that but um yeah so i'm getting here that it is best for you to remain in a lighthearted energy within this upcoming week because like i said there's going to be multiple opportunities that you do not want to lose out on because you're you've shifted out of that vibration you know you've shifted out of it you have so many different options of things that you can do and i think the best thing for you to do is to you know be lighthearted so that you're, you're not losing sight of those things you know what i'm trying to say so that you're not losing sight of them yeah so continue to stay connected um and be and connected to the things that make you happy too you know what i'm trying to say be connect continue to stay connected with those things you you see what i'm trying to say because i feel like let me see what's this other card yeah i feel like um a lot of you all have the potential to accomplish a lot and even if some things fall through, even if there are some disagreements or one of those opportunities, it doesn't hit, there's going to be something else that's going to open up for you because you have so many doors. Like you have so many doors to opportunity that I see here. You literally have so many doors, so many options, so many options that you could potentially be confused about which option to choose. <laughs> but you don't want to shift out of that vibration so then you don't have any options at all, if you feel what I'm trying to say. Um... I feel like a lot of you all definitely um, success is possible. Success and accomplishment is very possible. Um, just continue to, um, you know, lean on spirit and remain within um, that vibration and stuff like that. That high vibe, you know. Um, I watched the YouTube video. Oh, and we have the star, the star under here. So, yeah, like a lot of you all definitely have a lot of opportunity. So just keep the faith um keep your keep up your wishful thinking so if you're doing any affirmations you're trying to manifest things if you have your vision board just keep on you know pushing forward with that like with that positive high vibe um so that you don't shift out like i said i was watching a youtube video 
And that's literally what the guy was saying this week. He was just kind of like, if you, um, you can literally be on the cusp of accomplishing something, but if something happens and the universe tests you and then you shift out of that vibe, it sets you back because you was almost there. You feel what I'm trying to say? And I can definitely feel that, um, that, that word definitely applied to me. And I'm hoping that that would be able to apply to, um, to y'all viewers i definitely hope that that'll be able to apply to y'all as well so yeah a lot of you all are definitely destined for greatness the star could literally also mean you being a star so you being a celebrity being famous or even just being very well known in your field because that matters too you know that's fame that's you being famous like a whole bunch of people knows you like in your field like and knows of you knows of your reputation knows what you do like that's a good thing too you know what i'm trying to say so let's go over here and see what the goddesses are talking about. I'm going to get some clarification before I start talking. <laughs> Praying that God continues to give me the discernment that I need to give y'all these correct messages. Um, but yeah, let's see. Let's see, let's see. Okay, so I feel like a lot of you all are definitely going to be clearing out or continuing to clear out um, this week a lot of um, cycles, patterns, um, habits of behaviors, just things that do not apply to you. Um, that, that don't, it's not like it doesn't apply to you, but as far as things that um, don't uh, benefit your situation or who you are evolving and becoming. Um, is what I see that's going on. I feel like a lot of you all are definitely going to um, deal with your issues as far as with impulsivity. So there may be some things that you're impulsively doing that you're not even, that you don't even understand that you're doing. So I would just probably take a step back before you make any types of decisions. Um, before you yeah, before you make any types of uh, major decisions, I would probably just take a step back and think about it for a second um, before you go through with those things because it seemed like a lot of you all had issues with impulsivity, just kind of doing things based off of your emotions, not really thinking things through. So I would um, definitely, yeah, I would definitely do that. And this this has to do with, um, with uh, I feel like, I really feel like I do got to pick up reading about creatives because this definitely has to do with some type of creative energy um, or some type, yeah, some type of creation, um, maybe even a link to, link to abundance. So um, a lot of you off your creatives, you could have been making some impulsive um, situation, some impulsive uh, decisions, getting wrapped up in different projects that maybe wasn't your actual assignment or something like that. You know what I'm trying to say? Just take a step back. If anybody asks you to do something like, Figure out if that shit worked with your lifestyle before you decide to do it. You know, just put yourself first um, before you decide to make um, certain decisions. Because I feel like impulsivity is an issue. Um, also, um, <laughs> codependency is coming up here as well. Um, some unhealthy habits. Um, some unhealthy habits. It might not even just be with you. It could definitely be with an external um, person as well. Because um, I'm getting some some deceit <laughs> i'm getting some deceit that's coming up but i don't know let me use my cards let me scoot that over i'm getting some deceit that's coming up but it has to do with patterns i feel like it's patterns of behavior um that you might have had it seems like a lot of you all um have like it's just issues with impulsivity they could be issues with addictions issues with yeah yeah so yeah Okay, so that's what's going on, is a lot of you are finally breaking out of these different afflictions that have been affecting you. So like I said, it could be impuls impulsivity, it could be, um, you know, <laughs> adverse sexual behavior is what I heard. So it could be that too, it could be drug use, alcohol use. It seems like a lot of you are literally trying to break out of that because you realize that you're only robbing yourself of um, what you need. Essentially, you're only robbing yourself um and probably where you're trying to go because you're trying to put new love and uh new interest into your goals it's kind of like a resurgence like a, like you're turning over a new leaf you know what i'm trying to say is what i see going on so i feel like a lot of you all are not trying to stay caught up within your emotions which which may lead you down a dark path it seems like a lot of you are trying to um break out of that energy i feel like you might have even been stagnated in this energy for a while like these patterns was definitely going on 
for a while like and but the thing is is that you was there for a reason like all of those things happened for a reason because you needed some type of wisdom you needed some type of knowledge and i feel like now you're more so in a place to where you're just like you know what let me sacrifice you know all of these bad behaviors let me push those things to the side so that i can move forward and be renewed so i feel like you had to be in this place you had to experience this situations whether it be you know codependency with other relationships with within relationships or just things that you were doing um that were not serving you i feel like you had to do it for a while like the universe essentially was like no you need to be here so that you can know what this is you can fully know what this is and then you can move forward so i feel like a lot of you are, are in the um you're in the phase to where you're just like okay when i was a child i did childish things but now you've become a woman you've become a you've become a, you've become a man or however you want to identify yourself as you've become that more evolved um <laughs> that more evolved uh what do i want to say version <laughs> you become the more evolved version of who you used to be but you had to sit in that energy so that you would know what it is and really that's how it's light workers if you are if you have decided to light work <laughs> be a light worker which everybody doesn't decide to be a light worker people people decide by choice that that's not what they want to do you feel what i'm trying to say so if you've decided to be a light worker understand that you are going to have to deal with this 3d physical world bs you know what i'm trying to say because we're here we have these human bodies this is our human form we're gonna have to deal with these 3d physical world bs things that you're gonna have to deal with the lowest of the low when i tell you when i tell you the lowest of the low vibrations in order to realize that that's not where you want to be and then you gotta work yourself up so it's not like as a light worker you just come into this world and it's just like oh everything is great everything's awesome the whole point is for you to experience these I was really like these terrible, horrible, insidious things, like the lowest of the low vibration and energy in order for you to be able to even know what that is and transmute it and do something else and help somebody. You know what I'm trying to say? As a light worker, with us, like, when we sitting here doing this tarot, like, please don't think that everything has been peaches and cream for me in my entire life. Because when I tell you it hasn't, it hasn't. But I'm very thankful to God that he has even instilled me with the strength to want to do better you feel what i'm trying to say to want to bring myself up and to do something else so yeah that's what's going on with y'all this week y'all have a lot to do if you decide to take that assignment you have a lot to do but i'm sure it's definitely going to pay off it's definitely going to pay off so lessons in love that's what my that's what the topic is for today <laughs> lessons in love so we're just going to be looking at you know some overall general themes um that you may have to incorporate um if you want to attract a relationship or if you just want to continue uh building up your self-love um essentially if the end goal for you is to be in a relationship then you already know if you want to have a healthy one you're gonna have to start to embody a lot of the characteristics within yourself of what a healthy relationship is what that looks like to you so that you can attract that you know so yeah lessons in love we're gonna see what we're gonna see what spirit is advising for you to learn this year i'm probably gonna do um an updated version of this at some point this year because i'll be running out of reading ideas <laughs> i'll be running out of reading ideas but um yeah so let's go ahead and get started i think i'm going to start with the what do i want to start with do i want to start with the oracle deck or do i want to start with the tarot cards what do i want to start with i think i'm gonna start with the tarot cards um yeah i'm gonna start with this deck y'all i love this deck <laughs> i love this deck i gotta start telling y'all what these deck names are um because i forgot what this deck is but i love it i love it like this deck was sold out and then they put it back on amazon and i was so hyped because i love it i love how they have like the gold gold in the in the cars and stuff i love it i love it i really do 
All right, so now we just going to look at how y'all showing up now, like how you're presently showing up or no, not presently showing up. Let's look at how you've always shown up in, re in relationships in the past. Let's see how you've always shown up in relationships in the past, in relationships in the past. All right, let me go ahead and get one more. I like having, so I got extra cards. Um, I'm just gonna take them. I'm gonna take them. All right, so am I gonna read left to right or right to left? All right, I'll read left to right. Actually, no, I'm kind of getting the vibe. Yeah, I'm gonna read left to right. All right, so I feel like in a relationship in the past, um, <laughs> it seems like you've been indecisive. Um, I don't know if you've ever fully was content or peaceful with whomever you decided to commit yourself to is kind of what I'm getting. I feel like um, you've always pretty much juggled your relationships with whatever it was that you had going on in life. Um, and I mean, that's how life is. You should be able, well, not you should, but it's great to be able to have you know, a life and be independent and do all this and then still be able to have a relationship at the same time. What I'm getting is like your stability might have always been affected in your past relationships. So whether you just didn't have money, you didn't have a, a safe environment or stable place to stay, or you didn't have a car, it just seems as though um, you are always juggling between, okay, I do got to work on my goals but at the same time, I'm in this relationship with this person. So it's kind of like a, it's like you never was really peaceful and con peaceful and content because you always had to worry about, it seems, your stability. You've always had to um, worry about your well-being. Um, you've always had to put something else, make it a priority over your relationships, even if you actually did want to be in those relationships. It's just kind of coming up that you was never really peaceful and content in your past. You know, I don't know if um, some of y'all might have been like players or something like that, where it was just like you was always juggling between multiple people. You know, what I'm trying to say is kind of what I'm getting. It's always been more than one option and whatnot. But it seems like in your past, like, I mean, you might have had options or like I said, you probably weren't able to really enjoy your whole entire life holistically. Um, your love life and your, you know, your stability, and your independence on your own because you've always been struggling and going back and forth between those two things. So it might have definitely been a struggle to be in a relationship because you always had to worry about your, your money, your finances. You, you, it was always something else that you had to worry about that you was never actually peaceful and content. Like, it's kind of what I'm getting. It seems as though in your past relationship, in your past um, relationships or just how you even shown up in love um you definitely <laughs> i don't know if it was you but it's definitely seeming like it's you that separated yourself so i feel like you i feel like you could have been a player or you could have had options it just seemed as though it's like you've always um even if you've gotten into a situation that shit ain't work out you've always just been like okay well i'm just going to give you the deuces and i'm just gonna go about my merry way it seems like you was it's very easy for you to cut somebody off like if something not going right in your life it's like you're not gonna juggle back and forth between oh what's like you know when something going on and it's like something has to not fail but you have to put something down like something doesn't get as much attention as you wish it would it seems as though if you had to choose between a relationship love and if you had to choose between um your stability you're going to chug up the deuces and be like bye bye like i need to come over here and worry about this so you <laughs> if you're going through issues it's not really hard for you to cut somebody off it's not really hard for you to be like i'm not dealing with this i need to step away i need to break up but it just seems as though in your past relationships like there have definitely been numerous breakups and i feel like it's more so been you <laughs> you telling the other person i'm done with you like <laughs> so um if i mean if you've broken up with good people and because of your life circumstances it might have just been you had issues you know with a lack of resiliency or just your ability to cope with stressful situations and to still continue to move forward i feel like as you become an adult that's something 
um, that tends to mature because you you understand like you do want holistically to have a good life. I mean, whatever that means. You know what I'm trying to say. So if it's including love, if it's including family, and if it's including a career, when shit get hard, you just can't be like, oh, well, I'm just gonna let this fall. So I could worry about this. You have to find a way to balance it. So if anything, um, I'm getting that you you had issues with finding that balance and then being peaceful and content even through the chaos. You know what I'm trying to say? Even through the bullshit. You feel what I'm trying to say? And it is showing that. It's showing that like y'all, y'all you have no issue with packing your shit up and, and dipping. Like you don't have dipping, <laughs> bouncing, <laughs> leaving. <laughs> <laughs> it's like you don't have no issues with doing that it's showing here that's like if you had to choose between yourself and someone else it's like you're gonna choose yourself every time every time that's what you did yeah you didn't waste any time um but i do see that um a lot of you all definitely could have been yeah you weren't sacrificing yourself that's what i'm getting to it's like you would sacrifice that relationship before you sit there and sacrifice yourself and stuff like that i mean in some in some relationships like i said if the shit isn't working out this is a good thing to do but if you have a healthy relationship and stuff like that even through the chaos like i feel like y'all still would have been like peace <laughs> i got shit to do like but y'all never it's like you just didn't compromise you know even and i feel like just a lot of things were off balance as well like but whatever um, yeah, I feel like a lot of you all in your past relationships um, could have been very, um, I don't know, the word that comes to mind is domineering. Domineering is very um, intense, but I'm kind of getting that vibe too. It's just domineering where it's like you have control, like it's my way or the highway. You know, and it, it's just like a real, um, you know, when like a princess is throwing a temper tantrum, that type of energy, <laughs> that type of energy is what I feel like that you all used to have. Um, just, you know, just stepping into your relationships, trying to rule them with the iron fist, like, and even if it wasn't in, within your communication, it was more so within your energy, where it's kind of just like, well, it's my way. Queen Key, that song, My Way. Listen to that song, because she really, that's how, that's how it used to be for y'all. This is how y'all showing up, it's my way my way or the highway my way <laughs> my way or the highway <laughs> i feel like that's the energy that um y'all definitely had <laughs> in your past relationships so yeah i'm definitely getting that vibe i'm definitely getting that vibe but the funny thing about it too the funny thing about it too is like i don't think i like honestly if <laughs> honestly if um honestly i don't even think i think really the way that you showed <laughs> the way that you shown up and the way that like your relationships have played out as far as within love had just it's all been within your energy because i'm seeing here that like you want it it's like i don't know if you somehow felt that by giving these ultimatums or having that type of energy that you would have the big happy family that she really wanted but it's just so funny because underneath all of that it's just a really it was just more so of a real immature energy you know what i'm trying to say an immature energy where i'm so done with spirit i'm so done i feel like a lot of you are we're still trying to um <laughs> to gain your own sense of independence a lot of you all were definitely very immature just still stepping out into the world um I don't know if y'all know that club song that goes like, it's my, I could do what I want. I'm a big girl now. So it's like a lot of y'all, <laughs> a lot of y'all were trying to, at the time, um, just trying to assert your independence as an independent person, as a mature person. Um, so I'm just getting a real like late teens, early 20s vibe. Like, you know, when you're stepping out into the world and it's just like, okay, this is all about me. I'm taking control of my life. You know what I'm trying to say? Not like you can't do that as an adult, but you know as you get older, there's just different nuances um, to life, to people. You also understand that everybody has free will. You can't control people and stuff like that. So it just seems as though a lot of you all were very much like, okay, this is my way. 
And if you don't get on board with what it is that I'm doing, and if this shit isn't adding up, then I'm a dick. And it's nothing wrong with that. Um, but if you're actually developing a healthy relationship, it's not about, okay, well, if you don't get on board, because that then borders into, like I said, control you know, having control. So that's kind of how y'all used to show up, <laughs> how y'all previously shown up. Um, now I'm going to ask, um, I'm just going to ask about who you are, like just who you are like right now, like how you look at love, you know, right now is really what I'm going to gonna look at. Um, you know, I'm going to use the Cosmic Tarot deck, like... <laughs> I'm going to use it because I really want to, I really want to connect with y'all and I just want to see um, how you're currently showing up or even what your ideas towards, um, towards love is, towards relationships. Yep. Yeah. Y'all are pretty much still, it's my way. <laughs> pretty much still like it's my way, but y'all are definitely showing up strong though. I can't give you that. Um, let's see if your energy um, matured. I'm sorry, y'all. I know this one wants to come out. This one wants to come out. Yeah. Okay. All right. Good. This is nice. This is nice. So a lot of you all, um, like I said, you're still showing up where it's like, it's my way, but it's, it's coming up that a lot of you all, um, have definitely matured. So, um, you've gotten over, um, You've gotten over um, any type of codependencies that might have kept you attached to people. Um, people love to say soul ties, but it's really just trauma bond. You know what I'm trying to say? So a lot of you could have definitely um, just gotten over a lot of your, um, you know, bad behaviors, uh, negative behaviors um, that weren't really beneficial to you. So instead of you trying to control other people to have a sense of power and control, you've kind of, um, you've definitely become so much more mature um, as far as, more mature just within yourself. So that's what makes you powerful. You don't find power through controlling other people. You find power through getting a better grip and handle on yourself, like on yourself and your well-being. It shows that a lot of you are, aren't really even anxious. Like, so if you could have been anxious or could have had like negative feelings um, towards love or just even stagnancy, it just seems like a lot of you are, are embodying more so, of a, more so of a mature and a powerful type of um, energy. Um, one that isn't, and that's crazy because I've talked about that this week, um, for this week coming up, which is, you know, to continue working on those patterns of behavior that didn't serve you. Um, so you guys actually got the devil in reverse twice. So I'm just thinking like, okay, so it seems like a lot of you all could definitely be, um, you know, dealing with love and um, relationships with another person. And that could have been one of your patterns is a pattern of trying to control the situation is what's coming up here as well. Because I still see that you all are showing up strong. You have a really, very, like really strong masculine energy right now. If you're a woman, you identify with being a divine feminine. It's like you're really embodying some masculine energy, especially as it relates um, to pushing forward. Um, it's, it's what they call big, D-I-C-K energy. Like that's the type of energy that you're embodying um, right now as you push and you move forward um, in life. And yeah, I definitely see that a lot of you all are not um, any type of anxiety, any type of chaos, any type of, um, you know, roadblock or something that just, you know, pops up out of nowhere. I feel like you all are so much in a better, more empowered position to deal with things. So if you're, if you were to, for example, if you're dating someone and you were to deal with heartbreak tomorrow, I feel like you would be so much more in an empowered position because you're independent and you would be able to move forward. You know what I'm trying to say? But it just seems as though you guys are still powerful. You guys are very much um, in control, but not more not in control of someone else. You're more so in control of yourself and what's kind of going on with you. So, yeah, it's still my way, but... <laughs> Like I said, it's just understanding that everybody has their own, you know, free will. I'm just going to get some clarification cards and see if Spirit has anything else to say. And then we're going to move on to your lessons and, you know, things that would benefit you to learn 
and if there are even some things that it will benefit for you to let go of because I have the let go deck the let go deck the surrender the surrender deck that's what it's called <laughs> the let go deck let go and surrender is kind of it's the same thing <laughs> the let go deck <laughs> I'm sorry y'all I gotta find humor in myself <laughs> I have to um, so I got a couple different cards here, but, um, yeah, so let's see. Yeah, a lot of you all are very much more so in control and very independent, very independent. It seems as though, um, even through, like I said, even through failed relationships, um, I think a lot of y'all want to get out and socialize too, and you're not able to, um, of course, because of, um, the pandemic, um, still going on, I'm not sure if entertainment venues are open where you are but it does seem like a lot of you all definitely want to go out you want to socialize i also feel like um a lot of you all could definitely be wanting to reconcile with someone but that's not possible you know that's kind of what i see going on that's probably why you um are just kind of giving up you know control and you're just kind of like well everybody got free will including myself but there's just the underlying theme of okay i think you do want kind of want to get out and meet someone it's either that or for some reason I'm getting that you all are, have not reconciled with um, a relationship or, you know, with someone and stuff like that. that it's, that's like underlying. I'm not sure. Someone wants somebody out there and this shit just not working out. <laughs> Is it somebody wanting you? Is it you wanting somebody? I don't know. Like, I don't know. But, um, let me see. How else you're showing up to... Okay, how else you're showing up too is I feel as though um, the reason why you're paying special attention um, to um, letting like behaviors, patterns, toxic patterns go is because you definitely want to open up the door to new, um, to something new. Um, but it's just the beginning though. It's just the beginning. And I also feel as though um some of you all right now might not be willing to open up to something new is kind of what i'm getting um it's not necessarily a bad thing but i think you're not doing it because you don't want to have those unhealthy attachments to people like you don't want to risk um what you've been working on whether it be healing to go back into a situation that could potentially not be good for you it's kind of what i'm getting as well yeah it's what i'm getting yeah Yep, yep, yep. It's like you want to start something new, but I don't think you're willing. You're willing to. You want to, but you're not willing right now at this time. I don't know. That's interesting. That's definitely interesting. Um, something I'm getting, though, that is kind of a cause for... I mean, I mean, a lot of you all are being very un... I don't know if it's uncompromising or... What is it called? What is that word called? Shamelessly. It's like you guys are like shamelessly putting yourself first, which is not a bad thing. It's like you're not trying to compromise your anxiety. Um, you're you're not trying to compromise what you're what you've been working on to to then join into something, become anxious, and for it to set you back is kind of what I'm getting like a relationship or something for that relationship to set you back um with the not yeah yeah that's kind of what i'm getting it's like you're not you're not playing it's like you're not playing any games i feel like typically you could definitely be a really nurturing type of person um but it seems as though like right now it's just like you're not trying to hear nothing if that makes sense i don't know it's just like you're not really playing games like with stuff it's not bad it's just like this card combination to help me get to that message was just kind of this guy's kind of weird like i'm just like what <laughs> reading cards and stuff yeah it's like you're not trying to um it's just like you're not as much as you want to start something new it's just like you can't it's kind of what i'm getting as much as you want to you can't and that's probably why you're not reconciling if you wanted to reconcile with someone or it just seemed like love might be a little stagnated or you don't really have too many opportunities to get out there to even meet someone and stuff. Maybe you got to create those opportunities for yourself because 
the new normal is here. So uh, the thing about us as human beings, as spiritual people, like we know how to make the best out of nothing. You know, we know how to be flexible and we know how to be adaptable, you know. It's kind of what I see. But yeah, I just feel as though um, a lot of you all are not trying to compromise your mental health for anything right now. It's like you're really not playing too many games. Um, it could also be an ego thing too, is kind of what I see here. It could also be an ego thing. I feel like, but I, I put that out there also with the masculine energy and the big D-I-C-K energy. At times, that could definitely be very <laughs> egotistical. Um, could even potentially be arrogant. So it seems like a lot of you are just really aren't playing any games right now. Maybe it's because of your ego. Maybe you don't want to get your ego tied up and hurt. You feel what I'm trying to say? I don't know. Let me see if I could. I'm going to use this Oracle deck. Um, and see if I can get something. See if I can get something. Yeah, a lot of you all... Let's see, what's this? <laughs> a lot of you all, um, I feel like some of you all are waiting on someone to approach you or I think you want to say something to someone. Maybe your ego is not al allowing you to, so you're kind of just staying in your uh, imagination at this point in time. I think it's better for you right now to imagine, <laughs> to imagine love, to imagine a relationship, to put more so positive intentions into the future, into this happening at some point off into the future. Um, but as far as right now in this moment, I don't know if you're really open to starting something new right now, but you do feel a little salty that you can't get out though. That's what I'm getting. You're feeling a little salty that you can't get out and you can't have fun. But as far as like anything else, I just don't think you want to compromise, you know, any, you don't want to compromise yourself and what you're doing for just anybody. I feel like you're in less of an anxious state, an anxious mood, um, but underlyingly, it's like you really just don't have time for it. So, yeah, that made me think about the Fantasia song. <laughs> Got no time for it. Like, I don't know. Listen to that song and see if it applies to your situation. But it just seems as though, like, you all are still in a position of power. But more, this power more so comes from you within yourself as opposed to you trying to have power and dominate another a connection with someone else. Let's see how much time I have. All right, I'm doing well with time. So, let's look at what lessons Spirit would like for you to learn. How is everybody doing out there? I hope you are doing well. <laughs> I hope you're doing well. I hope you are doing well. Let's go ahead and look at the lessons that Spirit would like for you to pay attention to, to learn as it relates to love in 2021. As it relates to love. Oh, Spirit, Spirit's trying to tell you, you need to put that, put that work in. Why you need to put work in? Why you need to put work in? Why you need to? Like, what's going on? What's going on? What's going on? What is going on? Uh, let me see. Let me get another card. That's why spirit is trying to tell you to put that work in. That's if you choose. If you choose. It's up to you. Whatever you choose to do with your life is completely up to whatever you want to do with your life. But, um, but yeah, spirit right now, like, as far as with love, they're just asking for you. Like, one of your lessons that you're going to have to learn is balance. And it's funny because that's actually something that came up when I was like, well, let's examine how you've been in the past. Yeah, they definitely want to, um, they want you to look at balance and specifically look at the ways in which you have sacrificed or your lack of, your lack, no, look at the ways in which you have not compromised is kind of what I'm getting. Ways in which you have not compromised 
even with other people or even compromise within yourself. So you could have been one of those people who like the relationship has to look a specific way. It has to feel a specific way. And if it doesn't feel that way, then it's cut and it's gone. But as far as it feeling that way, it's like whose standards are is that relationship supposed to live up to? You know what I'm trying to say? Like, yeah, you should have your non-negotiables, as my friend would say, things that you're just not going to accept at all. But then you also have to be able to accept the humanity of that person. Like, accept the humanity of that person. We all have pluses and we all have minuses. And there's nuances to life and there's nuances to relationships. So spirit is just, at this point, they're asking you to have a balance. You know, put in the work, have, you know, be responsible, take accountability when you need to, but then other times sit back and rest. Allow that other person to do so as well. If, you know, if you decide that you want to be in a major relationship or just in love in general, find, find a balance. You know what I'm trying to say? Um, if this is applying to self-love with you and you're not really thinking about a relationship with someone else, then I guess be responsible and hold yourself accountable, you know, for your actions, for your healing. And then when things get to be too much, then pull back and nurture yourself. You know what I'm trying to say? Like, I get real with myself, but I never get real with myself to the point of self-deprecation. Because at that point, I'm just going to be embodying a spirit of fear and a spirit of taking on lies, thoughts, stuff like that, gaslighting that people put in my head psychologically and programmed. And that shit don't have nothing to do with me. That's with those people. So be real with yourself. You know, check your ego when you need to check your ego. But at the end of the day, don't do don't be so hard on yourself that now you're self-deprecating you know what i'm trying to say but check yourself have your own system of checks and balances there we go there we go um another lesson in love is for you is to to be more aware of the game like be more aware of the game like but not necessarily like playing somebody like the playing game but just you know, become knowledgeable about, you know, about dating, about relationships. So if you need to watch some YouTube videos, if you need to um, go to a matchmaker, because they be knowing a lot about dating, like they have really updated information. And if that's something that you want to do, it's like those are skilled people within that profession. You know what I'm trying to say? So what Spirit is saying is like, be more aware, aware and more clear of what it actually means to get out and and to date if that's what you want to do or what it actually means to have self-love get out there because it's like it basically you want to know this information so that it increases your chances of winning you know not winning to the detriment of other people you know what i'm trying to say but you person making these personal gains so if it's a relationship that you want to be in um, get out there if you're a woman you identify with being a woman get out there and start to study up on seduction or study up on you know femininity um, what's going to make you more attractive what's going to attract more love and relationships more higher vibe love and relationships for yourself you know what I'm trying to say like get out there and start to um, explore femininity or masculinity if you're a man and you want to be more desirable like that's what you actually want is to attract somebody attract somebody on your level then there's going to be things that you're going to have to do and shift your vibration especially if you're not there yet if you feel like you're not there yet to help you get there you know what i'm trying to say so self-love is definitely needed self-esteem and confidence and knowing what your uh worth is yeah because i feel like a lot of you all probably felt like you had to put a lot of domination and control into your relationship in the past maybe you didn't feel so well about yourself you know what i'm trying to say but when you get some confidence about you when you get some self-esteem it's like it don't matter which way the shit go down you still gonna be good at the end of the day and keep it pushing so yeah yeah y'all yeah spirit just trying to tell you to be more knowledgeable um about this and stop being delusional delusional um get real be very realistic if you want to win you know what i'm trying to say um i would advise not to the detriment of other people like anything that you do do it because it's going to help push yourself forward but when it should start uh being riddled with deceit with lies with all types of stuff like getting over on people like it's just not gonna work it's just not gonna work yeah 
Yeah, I'm definitely getting um, that spirit definitely wants you to get very clear and very realistic about ways in which you probably um, haven't been using your intuition um, and discernment to help you move forward. A lot of you all haven't been leaning too much on your um, discernment and stuff like that. So even though um, you've even though you maybe in the past you successfully pulled yourself out of situations um, or finessed yourself out of situations with people or something i don't know i'm kind of getting i feel like i'm like reading for like a player like <laughs> someone who just has multiple options i feel like i'm reading for a player right now like i don't know who it is like <laughs> i don't know who it is i feel like spirit trying to tell you to reform yourself like if you out here playing with people's feelings like if you know that you a player like spirit is just like no you need to reform yourself because you're really playing yourself at the end of the day um but for the rest of us out here it's like use your intuition be real you know what i'm trying to say get real with yourself get real with you know love and, and relationships if this is what you want to do get real study you know um do whatever you have to do to enhance yourself and whatnot because you don't want to be um you know operating from um from your ego you know what i'm trying to say moving forward spirit does not want you operating from your ego like if you want to attract something that's healthy something that's loving it can't live in a space of ego and fear mind you our ego is there for a reason but you know that once you know we uh once there's something that sparks fear in us that's when our ego is like well no i gotta i gotta come in here real quick because you know you scared but i'm about to you know, and then that's when we start acting all impulsive and acting off of our emotions because we're trying to save face. You know, we're trying to, you know, you save face basically and that's when the ego come out. You know what I'm trying to say? The ego be like, nah, hold up. You're not about to play me. Like, that's really how the ego be. <laughs> ego be like, nah, nah, you're not about to play me even though you really actually scared on the inside. Now here your ego come out and all this bravado and stuff like that so spirit just wants you to get really clear on ways in which maybe your ego has um your ego has um stirs you off of a of, of a good path they want you to get clear about that uh maybe you weren't wasn't really living through your intuition and stuff like that because if you like i said fear and love they just can't live in the same place your ego is there for a reason but at the same time you have to have a, a series of you know checks and balances with yourself so you make sure that your ego isn't dominating the love that is with, that is inside of you it's not dominating your intuition you know it's really not but i mean the ego is ego is definitely it, it's 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 not worthless you know it's there for a reason because your ego will definitely help you get out of a lot of jacked up situations but you have to be able to utilize your intuition so you know when to activate it and when not to you feel me um spirit also this this year they really want you to learn how to stop holding yourself back from your own happiness so if it is that you want you know a happy family you want a, a long lasting family you want to be secure for generations to come it's like spirit is trying to tell you like it's important for you to not stagnate yourself if this is something that you know that you want then you're gonna have to put the work in for it don't stagnate yourself don't keep yourself in the same spot um even if um you're not dating anyone right now like i said work on your self-improvement you know um you, you don't have any kids right now spend this time like or even if you do spend this time on you know envisioning this envisioning this family that you want and actually taking the action steps to move forward towards it you know it's crazy because it's like for me personally just because i gotta speak from my experience too like i didn't even realize you know just when you are doing different things and learning independent living skills as an adult like if you're focusing on the right things then those are the right things that will be able to create like i said a healthy relationship with another person you know what i'm trying to say and you'll have more that you can personally bring to the table you know more so than just looks and sex you feel what i'm trying to say so it's like if you aren't in a relationship right now don't stagnate yourself do things that are going to help you know um that are going to help uh you know you be able to 
prov like provide more, be able to put more into a relationship, um, into a serious connection with someone. Like work on what you can do um, and become so skilled at that, that like it's just going to come easy once you find that person that you want to be with. You know what I'm trying to say? It's, it's just, I don't know if y'all get what I'm trying to say, but it's like work on these things. Like um, independent living skills, like, you know, money management, financial literacy, learning how to cook, learning how to clean. Like all of those things are things that, you know, ideally as adults, <laughs> we should be learning how to do. Not should, but ideally, ideally, you know, everybody has their own free will. You feel what I'm trying to say? I feel like I always have to say that disclaimer because it's like imperative thinking to be like, you should or you could have or something like that. It's, it's very imperative thinking, but I'm trying to say that, you know, those are some things that really do benefit people as they go into adulthood, having these independent living skills to be able to be independent. You feel what I'm trying to say? So work on your independent living skills so that you have something that you can bring to the table is kind of what I'm saying. But it's like if a relationship is something, um, a good connection, a good stable connection that's going to last and be timeless. Like if this is something that you want and stuff, then you have to get out of your own way and work towards it. So if you are a single person practicing self-love, um, learn how to cook. I don't know shit. Learn how to cook. Learn how to clean better. L learn how to uh, learn different things that you could bring to the table. Read read books. You know, learn new skills. You know, have different interests and stuff that you can, you know, talk about. You know, everybody, everybody isn't gonna want to live a holistic life, but if you are if you decide that you want to it's like it just makes you so much more interesting like you know what i'm trying to say it's it's nice to be able to talk to people about different things you know that they do you know it's cool because it's like you could put somebody on to something and they could put you on to something as well so if you want something stable committed just start to work on continue to work on yourself if that's what you want then get out of your own way and move towards it and stuff prepare yourself you know, if you want to be married, prepare yourself for marriage. You feel me? Is what I'm getting to. Yeah. Um, another lesson that you have to learn also is just within your... Um, let me see. Yeah, it's just within yourself. It's within being balanced within yourself. I feel like um, there's always going to be some type of inner turmoil. Guys, my time is almost running down. I feel like there's always going to be some type of inner turmoil. There's always going to be something that you have to um, pay attention to. There's always going to be some curveball that life is going to throw. Um, but they're trying to tell you that even if things aren't right, if this is something you want, a good, stable, healthy connection, learn how to lean on other people for support. You know what I'm trying to say? Learn how to work with other people. And that's something that you wasn't really doing in the past. I don't know if like I said, you could have been in fucked up relationships. You could have had a couple healthy relationships in the past that just didn't work out because you had a lot of shit going on with your life. But what's showing up is like, there's always going to be, you know, something internally happening. There's always going to be a shift. There's always going to be a transition. There's always going to be something changing. It's always going to be something. That's just how life is. There's always going to be a challenge. Once you master that challenge, now you're going to come up on another challenge. There's, there's always going to be a hill to climb in life it just always is going to be but at the same time instead of separating yourself and distancing yourself because you might be going through a hard terrible time and very anxious um it's time for you to start finding a balance and how you find that balance could also mean you just being able to work well with other with other people compromising with other people if this is a relationship work together positively with the other person build more of a steady foundation yep that's what they want you to do too with the um the tower in the reverse and with the three of pentacles, spirit also wants you to focus on your foundation. So if you want a nice, healthy relationship or whatever it is that you want, even if it's with yourself, it's time for you to get out of your own way, build a better connection, foundation with yourself, um, be willing to do that with another person. But at the end of the day, before you do it with another person, you have to do it with yourself, right? 
<laughs> in order to love somebody else, you gotta have self love for yourself, right? You gotta have unconditional self love with yourself. Like you feel what I'm trying to say? So that's really what spirit wants you to do. Like they really want you. Um, they want you to win. It's kind of what I see here. They definitely want you to win. They want you to get out of your own way. They want you to get real. Get real with the game. Get real. Check your ego. And um, they also want you to be able to find a healthy balance. Um, find a healthy balance. Like, <laughs> whatever that balance is, have your own form of checks and balances. I'm going to get one surrender card that y'all can use. Oh, surrender to rest and sleep to prevent burnout, slow down. Honor your need for quiet time and peaceful sleep to rejuvenate your mind, body, and spirit. So make sure you take some time to rest and surrender to the magic of who you are. Here's the unconditional love. Um, that I'm talking about. We all have magic in us, even in the most uh, mundane aspects of life. Remember that you are a magical being with a uniqueness and worth that come from just being you. So yeah, be you. Take breaks when you need to. Like I said here, just have your own system of, re of checks and balances. Um, check that ego. But yeah, I hope that you all enjoyed this reading, I never know what I'm going to read for. Like, I never know. <laughs> I'm just like, hmm, what am I going to read for today? And then I decide like an hour before I'm supposed to read. So I definitely hope that y'all enjoyed this reading. Please make sure that y'all check me out on YouTube. The link is in my description box um i'm working on creating a link tree because as y'all know your girl got a lot going on i have so many different brands products ideas things like that in the making and i'm spending as much time as i can between all of the shit i have going on to make sure that this thing is coming together how i would like for it to come together i'm so excited i feel like i'm finally in a place in which is like i'm just confident and i'm just like let's go like let's go let's go the, the enemy really tried to destroy this confidence they really tried to destroy it and let that be an example if you're not feeling too well about yourself right now like you need to understand that all that fear is not going to be able to live in the same energy as self-love so you got to choose one or the other you feel what i'm trying to say fear is just going to keep you in that same spot when you start loving yourself, it's, it's challenging, it's difficult, but it's not impossible. And you'll be at a better, so much of a better place, like down the, down the line. So take it a step at a time. Um, I'm so excited to share what I've been working on with y'all, with people in general. Um, I'm so excited. Oh my God, your girl's so excited. <laughs> so excited. But for the most part, I hope everyone enjoys the rest of their week. Um, peace, blessings, really, seriously, peace and blessings. Um, that's that's literally what I I hope and I wish for you. Like, it's it's going to get better. I'm excited because it's definitely a major shift happening. Um, definitely. So I hope everyone enjoys the rest of their week, and I will see you next time. See ya.